the second uh, uh, announcement is there will be another side event on Friday. Uh, you'll find the information on the table. If not, we will be more than happy to email you. It's on reprisal against human rights defenders from uh, 9.30 uh, to 11. With that, I would uh, ask Ms. Nadal Salman to uh, begin her presentation. Uh, hello, my name is my name is Nadal Salman, and I rep represent Bah okay. Bahrain Center for Human Rights. Bahrain Center for Human Rights have been documenting abuses since 2002. I will highlight few issues related to violation against women and children since the crackdown on all protesters after February 2011. Bahrain is a signatory of the Convention on of the elimination of all forms of discrimination against women, known as SIDAL, which is one of the most highly ratified international human rights convention. But does ratification lead to improved respect for human rights in Bahrain? We'll know about when we talk about the situation in Bahrain. Attacking and arresting children and women in Bahrain in, is one of the many systematic attempts carried by the Bahraini government to spread panic and fear among the citizen, and especially among Bahrain, uh, children and women, in, all, in order to scare them and stop them from participating in any acts of protest, demanding their rights. Over 330 women were imprisoned, and I have to tell you that the numbers is not, uh, it's not, it's not as, is not, it varies as not everybody documented their cases. Currently, there are five women detained as a result of their peaceful participation in the protest. Those women who practiced their rights as, and as a result, they were jailed. They were detained, suspended, and sacked from their job due to political and religious belief, which is against Article 19 of uh, Universal Declar Declaration of Human Rights, which states everyone has the right of freedom of opinion and expression, and Article 20, which states that everybody has the right of freedom of peaceful assembly and association. For some, freedom of association is seen as the mother of all the freedom. The answer for that is very clear. Nabir Rajab is the president of Bahrain Center for Human Rights. He is jailed for two years just for tweeting, uh, calling for a protest. I'll go back to torture. Detained women were tortured, insulted, and sexually harassed in a police sac uh, station and in criminal investigation department, and were all subject to ill treatment. All were forced to sign confession under torture, which is against universal declaration, again, of human rights, Article 5, which says that no one shall be subject to torture or cruel and human degrading treatment or punishment. And also Bahrain has signed the Convention of Against Torture and Other Cruel and Inhuman and Degrading Treatment or Punishment, which is known as CAT, on 13 February 1992. Women were attacked in the middle of the night by masked men and police officer with no warrant of arrest. Abuse includes humiliation by police office, uh, officers of uh, police forces spitting on their faces, slapping, dragging women f f by the, uh, from their headscarf. Detained women were denied access to lawyer after being arrested and prior to interrogation. They were only granted access to lawyer at the end of the national safety martial law, which was 2000 and June 2011. And during court session only, the human right as in Article 10 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. All women were not granted phone rights as well uh, to call their family member for a couple of weeks, which is a basic human right. All the arrest, as I told you, was without warrant and mostly in the early hours of the morning. I'll move to the nationality. Even with the political naturalization which the government is following to change the demographic identity of Bahrain, still children of Bahraini mother who, was, who are born in Bahrain deprived from Bahraini citizenship. There are several cases of depriving uh, 
born citizen from their citizenship due to their family political activism during the uprising, which is against the um, article number 15, which says everybody has the right to a nationality and no one shall, shall be deprived of his nationality. Not to forget that the government last years whipped the nationality of 31 opposition figure, figure, most of them was from a Farsi origin, which is against again the International Convention of Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination, which Bahrain signed it in 2002. Uh, just to let you know that Bahrain has the highest woman and overall arrest for uh, compared to the population among the Arab Spring, as the statistics of prisonstudies.org. Over 200 female students were suspended from their study, which is against Article 26 related to the right of ed education as well. Uh, 14 women died due to inhalation of toxic tear gas as a form of collective punishment in villages. There are also many cases of mischarge. Over the past three years, more than 4,000 houses have been raided, raided by the forces. In most home raids, women are verbally abused and humiliated. This is an alarming increase in violence and discrimination, as law is ignored or never followed. With all the violation which was proved by BICI, which was appointed by the ruler himself, nearly all the recommendation were, were never implemented by the responsible bodies, although they claim they did. As a result, many human rights defenders and children, students and women are st still detained on the basis of the opinion and expression. Uh, we'll talk about the responsible bodies. Those uh, responsible bodies for implementing the BIC recommendation include the General Secretariat for Graveness, uh, which is under the Ministry of Interior Financial Authority, the Special Investigation, it's okay, and the National Institute of Human Rights that was established by a royal degree. Although a journalist and several female filed complaints against officers accusing them of torture and had evidence of and witnesses, all officers were freed or all the cases were closed. Many of the cases referred to the SIU was either closed with no action or just uh, forgotten. Members of the NIHR are appointed by the king. The NIHR did not visit any woman in prison to listen to their complaint. The SIDAO committee, conclusion number 47 about the NIHR states, the committee welcomed the establishment of the National Institution for Human Rights, but the committee notes that up to date, it has not applied at, for accreditation with the International Coordination, Co Coordinating Committee of National Institution for the prom promotion and protection of human rights. It also notes the absence of information regarding its mandate and available resources. Reality is that the violation continue in the absence of true independent mechanism and follow up and doing justice. The lack of trust is fueled in the cancellation of the UN Special Rapporteur of Torture, Juan Mendez, twice by the government. By government. For, that, for those reasons, those imprisoned women and children must be free. Discrimination again dismissed and demoted women in the workplace should be ended and the violation are just, just, justly tried due to international court, sta court standards. Okay, as uh, the time is passing, I will have to say um, the, dif the depth of Bahrain problem is not just except political declaration and legal documentation which is never implemented in practice. We need Bahrain to act in a responsible manner by respecting and guaranteeing a human right in every aspect and put an end of the impunity culture which allows continuation of the violation. There is an urgent need to take strict punishment to eliminate violence and discrimination against women where women can live in dig uh, with dignity. And there is 
an urgent call to hold those responsible in the security forces and government position accountable for killing and torture of women. Thank you very much. <laughs>